Time for Channel One Sports News, and we cross all the way to Birmingham in the United Kingdom. We have Able Team on the ground covering the Commonwealth Games, and right now, my colleague Isaac Lemoka is on standby. Lemoka, is it good afternoon or good morning from wherever you are? Well, thank you so much, Irene Mochuma. Uh, it is one of uh, the fine days you wake up in Birmingham and the weather is chilly uh, at one point and the weather turns to sunny at another point. We're coming to you live all the way from the United Kingdom, Birmingham City, the second largest city after London, where um, the 22nd edition of um, the Commonwealth Games are going to be held officially to be uh, opened tomorrow. And uh, right here, I'm standing at one of the busiest uh, uh, streets uh, called uh, Clayton Road in Birmingham. Just um, a few minutes to the Alexander uh, Stadium where uh, the official opening ceremony of the uh, 22nd edition of the uh, Games are going to happen. It was expected that um, uh, Her Majesty the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II, would actually open um, the events tomorrow, but she will be represented by the Duke of Wales, Prince Charles, who will be there. And remember, there are a um, total of uh, about uh, more than 7,000 officials, participants and athletes who will be converging here in um, Birmingham for these particular events from uh, 72 uh, nations, which are common Wealth uh, member state, and of course, Kenya will be represented by 123 athletes. Rightfully, as you put it yesterday, it was time for Team Kenya, the hockey team, which for the first time is representing our nation at this particular uh, games. Uh, they were intensifying their, um, um, their, 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 their training when they played a friendly match against uh, Ghana and uh, they ended up losing two goals to one. Uh, Omari Nasali of Ghana scored twice in the first half as um, uh, Gladys Buire of Kenya also scored the consolation goal for uh, the country and of course um, the coach none other than Jacqueline uh, Mwangi says that uh, she is satisfied with the way the players uh, have carried themselves uh, giving a lot of um, uh, uh, opportunities uh, to young blood talk of uh, Nicole uh, Odiambo who was included in uh, the Kenyan team. She's only 19 and the coach says it is a good opportunity for young blood and young tucks like herself uh, to showcase her brilliance, her bravery and her resilience um, to the world in such uh, an international platform. And of course, uh, there are so many uh, athletes who are still jetting in. Remember, uh, today we missed an opportunity to train or rather to um, film our athletes, the swimmers uh, led by Muteti, who will be competing in the uh, 100 uh, uh, meters uh, sw swimming along with other um, um, seven Kenyans for both men and women. And uh, of course, they had to live very early uh, in the morning session because today as well just before the opening ceremony uh, tomorrow at the El Alexander Alexander uh, Stadium here in Birmingham today very evening uh, the Kenyan uh, contingent which consists of um, uh, all the athletes and officials will converge at a point uh, designated by the um, Kenyan embassy here in the United Kingdom, led by um, Ambassador Manoa Esipisu Foradina, and of course some um, uh, government officials, uh, top government officials, led by Ambassador Amina Mohammed, who is the Minister for Sports, jetted uh, in the UK um, a few days earlier, and they will be leading all. Uh, the Kenyans in just celebrating and uh, in just um, uh, having dinner and talking, encouraging our sports women and uh, men and women as they go about um, uh, their, their, uh, their, 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 their course. Uh, remember, um, we are here as from uh, today and tomorrow there is uh, an uh, unconfirmed reports that um, there will be uh, checkpoints for weightlifters where Kenya is also being represented. Remember, athletics, boxing, uh, swimming, 
hockey as well as uh, para sports is what Kenyans are yearning to hunt gold in that particular uh, in those particular uh, 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 disciplines and of course um, we are here until uh, the 9th when the games will officially be closed and we'll be giving you the latest uh, as far as um, these games are concerned. I spoke yesterday with uh, Susan Margaret, one of the um, organizers, uh, officials, saying that all systems are set and they are very much ready because um, they are expecting a lot of uh, uh, guests uh, to be uh, thronging into Birmingham. And of course, uh, just to give you a glimpse of how it is as far as uh, getting hotels and transport is concerned, for you to get an, a, a hotel right now, it is as difficult as you can imagine. But if you are a participant participating in any way in these um, games, yeah, you will uh, be given. You will be given. Uh, um, free transport. So much to talk about about Birmingham and we are going for that particular dinner. It's going to happen right here in Birmingham. We'll bring you all the reports, all the interviews and um, what you need to know uh, as far as uh, the Kenyan contingent is concerned. From Birmingham my name is Isaac Lemoka.